this is Tahmina Khan. This is my video number two in connection of the first one, which was on the basic concepts of the complex number. And now in this video, I will cover the concept of loci in the complex plane. And then few past paper questions as well. Now let's start with the basic understanding of uh, vector geometry. When we see vector A minus B, it means position vector B is connected to the position vector A. Similarly, if you will see somewhere it is written complex plane Z minus Z1, it means you are joining the point Z1 to the point Z. So let's start and see which loci we must know. Basically, there are three types. So loci which should be recognized. Let's see the first case here. Z minus Z1 equals to R. Now what does it mean? Okay, so Z minus Z1 equals to R mean that you will have a locus of uh, Z which has a center Z1 and radius R. So if you look at the diagram here, this is your center, the radius is your R and this circle is basically your locus Z. So when you look at the locus in this form, immediately you will recognize that the locus will be a circle with center Z1 and radius R. Now let's see the example of it. Now let's see this example. Suppose you have to sketch the locus of 2 minus 3 iota. First of all, you have to change its form. Uh, its form. It was Z minus Z1. So first of all, you will put it in the bracket properly and it will give you the center 2 plus 3 iota. So if question says a state, you can say it will be a locus of a circle with center 2, comma 3 i or 2 comma 3 simply and radius will be 3 and if you have to sketch it it simply means x axis is your real axis y axis is your imaginary i m and this center and you have to be very careful in drawing circle compass is not needed but still if the radius is 3 it means it will touch the x axis so you have to show important point like 3 unit to the left 3 unit to the right 3 unit to the top and 3 to the bottom. So you will sketch it properly. Now let's see the second type of loci which is this. What does it mean? Now this means the locus of Z because Z is your locus and is and the locus is perpendicular bisector of the line joined by the point Z1 and Z2. Now if you remember this is similar to what we have done in maths. O level mathematics locus it is exactly same thing so now it means you will mark the point z1 z2 and you will draw a line perpendicular bisector and you will just mark this point to indicate that they are equal to each other not necessarily that you measure everything and mark this symbol which will show that it is perpendicular so your locus is z now let's see an example here for example, I have to state and sketch the locus of this point. So first of all, though, I will write it down in this proper form. Like I told you, it was Z minus Z1 and Z minus Z2. So it is 3 plus 0 iota and Z minus 0 plus 2 iota. So my points are 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 2. So here are my points. And after that, I'm just drawing a perpendicular bisector. It's rough sketch basically, but should be neat. So the locus is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining two points. So please remember this is the second type of loci in the complex plane. Later on we will see with inequality symbol in between. Right now it is this line because it is equal. Now this actually means that any point on Z is equidistance from this point and this point. This is the meaning of the statement here. Now let's see the third type of uh, locus here. If it is written like this, what does it mean? It means at point Z1, you will draw a horizontal line and whatever angle is given here, you will draw accordingly. If it will be negative, I will draw it here in this direction. If it is positive, I will draw here because I told you when it is anti-clockwise, it is plus. 
when it is minus we mark it clockwise okay so now there is something very important about it this diagram is also called half line diagram now i have already told you that when you have to uh, draw this locus at this point you draw horizontal line and then draw an angle starting from this point so now it is called half line because we only draw upper part and measure angle from the positive x axis so that's why it is called half line we do not draw the other side now let's see this example we have to sketch the locus of argument of z minus 2 equals to pi by 3 so first of all we are bringing it into the form like z minus z1 so my point will become 2 plus 0 iota equals to pi by 3 so now what will i do with before i show you the sketch can you think what will happen okay so what will happen that in the argon diagram i will mark a point 2 comma 0 which is here horizontal line from here which is already my real axis and then pi by 3 now this is just estimated right pi by 3 is almost equals to 60 uh, i mean it is equals to 60 degree so i'm drawing a line here so this is my locus z and which is like 60 degree from this axis so now we have seen three uh, loci and we will see different example now so that we can understand it better now for example this is the question find the locus of argument of z minus 2 which is greater than equals to pi over 4 and less than equals to pi by 3 so to find out this region because whenever it is inequality it is a region then so now to find out this region what will i do i will first of all draw the two argument two separate loci number 1 is z minus 2 equals to pi by 4 and argument of z minus 2 equals to pi by 3 and then i will pick up the region in between them so let's see here now z minus 2 actually mean 2 plus 0 iota we have just seen in the previous example so now this is the point the straight line i will draw from here horizontal line one angle is pi by 4 which is this is small one and then the bigger one is pi by 3 which is 60 degree so the question says the region should be greater than pi by 4 and should be less than pi by 3 so it means this is my region now if you remember loci this line will be dotted in which case when you will not have equality symbol here if it is only greater than and less than then we will draw a dotted line here we will not draw this solid line So now let's see another example here. Now let's see the example of shortest or greatest distance problem. You will often see these type of problems in the past paper also. So if question says the argument of z is this, find the least value of this. First of all, you have to understand what is the meaning of the question. So the first part is very much clear that we will uh, mark a point minus three comma zero. and draw pi by 3 angle over there now what is the meaning of least value of z it means from the origin the smallest value to the locus which i have drawn in first part which is here so let's see let's mark this point first of all which is minus 3 comma 0 so if i mark here minus 3 comma 0 and mark an angle pi by 3 it is plus so i will mark it here fine now this means because this is my z this line is my z so the distance of this line from origin will be least we know when it will be perpendicular to it because we know the least distance is always a perpendicular distance so looking at this is small triangle we know this is 3 we know this is pi by 3 so using this known side and this angle we can easily find out this length so we are applying trigonometric ratio sin pi by 3 is equals to op over 3 and we have found the length op so you can write in three significant figure or you can leave it in the exact form so this is the least value of z so i'm repeating the question mostly 
students do not get the question what to do in it so once it is explained to them they understand so please try to remember these and try to understand not remember understand least value of this mean from the origin you have to find the distance to z and z you are getting from here now let's see another example now if you look at this example now this time your modulus of z minus 3 plus 3 iota equals to 2 and what question is saying you have to find the greatest and least value of this. Now can you recall what type of locus this will be? Do you remember we have just done it? Yes, it will be a circle. Radius 2 and center will be 3 minus 3 iota because we will put bracket around here. So it will be 3 minus 3 iota will be my center of the circle and 2 will be radius. So that circle will, that circle will basically my z. And I will see the distance of that z from this point. The greatest distance and the least distance. So this is the meaning of the question. So let's see how we will go about it. So here, this is my center of the circle and this is my radius. Let's draw this first. So here I have drawn this circle. The center is 3 comma minus 3 and radius is uh, 2. So I have drawn a circle of radius 2. Then I have to find out uh, the least distance from this point. Now what is this equals to? Again I will write it in the proper form. What it will be? It is basically this. Z plus 1 mean Z minus minus 1 plus 0 iota. So I think now you understood how you will change it into this form because the standard form is Z minus Z1, Z minus Z2. So I will change it into this form. So my point is minus 1 comma 0. So this is my point minus 1 comma 0. And this is my locus z. So I have to find out the smallest distance from this point to this locus and the greatest. Now this is, I mean we know that core, um, diameter is the largest chord. So if the line will pass through A, and pass through diameter and reaches here this will be the greatest distance this hole and the least distance will be this so what we will do what do you think think for a minute and then let's see because it's like a game now it's no more complex maths it's like a simple game so you know this point it is 3 comma 3 if I draw the line from here this distance is 4 this distance is 3. So by applying Pythagoras theorem I can simply find this out. Right? Now once I will find this out I know the radius is 2. So from this whole distance let me call this center C. So I can say from AC I will minus 2 to get least distance AB1. And in this AC if I add radius I will get the greatest distance. Agree? So now let's do this thing. What I have just explained to you, we will do it here. So to find out the length of AC, I told you I will apply Pythagoras theorem. I have found it 5. And for the least distance, I told you we will minus the radius. And for the greatest, we will plus the radius. So exactly the same thing we are doing here. And we got the greatest and least distance of the locus from the point z plus 1. So let's see another example and um, this is the last example for this video. Then in video number 3 we will um, solve few past question, past paper questions. So now what is the question? This question is saying you have two complex numbers. For example, uh, you giving them name z and w. Now if you see it is reminding you again a circle radius 2 and center is yes come on 3 comma 2 because when you will put a bracket here it will be 3 plus 2 iota and you will put a bracket here again it is a radius your locus is w now name is changed thing is same radius is 1 center is z plus 5 iota and once you will get those two loci you have to find the least distance between them this is the meaning of the question. Find the least possible value of this mean 
between the two loci find out the least distance so now let's see we have found the points here like i told you and i will draw two circles of radius 2 and 1 with these centers so here are the two circles now this is z the center is 3 comma 2 and this is w 7 comma 5 the question was saying find out the least distance modulus z minus w right z minus w so it means i have to find out this distance so what do you think what is coming into your mind how can you find out this distance i have given you a hint by drawing a small light line over here you know the x coordinate this is three you know the x coordinate here this is seven so if i complete a triangle it means i know this length it is 7 minus 3 which is 4 and the y coordinate here is 2 and the y coordinate here is 5 so it means this length also I know it is 3 so it means this is 4 and this is 3 so can I find out this whole length yes by applying Pythagoras theorem you can find out and it will be 5 okay so if I know this whole is 5 how can I find this out very simple because you know this radius is 1 and you know this radius is 2. So from 5 you minus 1 and then you minus 2. So you will get the least distance is equal to two. So with this I will end this video and in the in the next video which is video number three of complex number i will take example of two or three past paper questions and um, i hope it will help you to get the concept clearer and the practice of the questions also so if you like the video and you have learned something from this please um, press the button like and subscribe so you can get my new videos notification thank you very much bye bye